Happy Friday, everyone. I don't know if you can relate to this, but I'm a fix-it guy. I like to see problems and I like to solve them. I like to find solutions and keep moving forward. But I was reminded this week that there are problems in this world and many of them are just simply not going to get fixed this side of heaven. Fortunately, I was at such an event where, again, four lives had been needlessly and senselessly taken. And that was not going to be a problem that could be fixed in the right here, right now. And sometimes that can feel overwhelming. In fact, a news reporter asked me, you go to these quite often. How do you keep your faith? How do you keep hope? And I share with them this. You know, sometimes I realize and I need to accept that there are problems that are not going to be fixed this side of heaven. But I realize that there is a way to respond still. There is something that we can still choose to do. And that is something that God gives to us an opportunity for, to be light and to be love, to push light back against the darkness and not to be quiet when evil strikes, but instead to reflect love. Where hate has been shown and demonstrated, we can enter into that place and we can share love and hope. And that's what I want to encourage each of you this weekend. No matter where you go, remember that Matthew 5, 16 reminds us to let our light be something that the whole world can see through our good deeds. Be kind to somebody this weekend. Keep pushing against the darkness of this world. It makes a difference. It certainly will in the life of the person that you encounter this weekend. Let's pray. Again, Heavenly Father, we come to you and we know that there is darkness and brokenness and evil in this world. It is the sin of mankind, and we're participants in that. And we pray that you would be with all those who are suffering, those who are struggling, those who are hurting. But would you especially help us not to give up? but to continue to reflect your light and your love to a world that so desperately needs that. Help us this weekend to make that difference and to make that impact. And may we again see that light and the difference that it makes for those who are stumbling in darkness. And may we be encouraged and inspired to continue walking in the light as you have called us to do through your son, Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen.